the A320 Neo will steal the show at this year's Le Bourget. At least that's according to Airbus's script. Airbus is hoping to secure around 500 orders for the A320 New Engine Option, or NEO, as the re-engining effort is called. Whether Airbus would re-engine or not was one of the key topics during last year's Farnborough Air Show. Although all signs pointed to Toulouse going down that road, it was not until December that a formal launch took place. The two engine offerings are the Pratt & Whitney PW1100G geared towerfan and the CFM International Leap X. The Pratt engine will be the first to be certified and delivered, with a Leap X to follow 9 to 12 months later. Since the program's launch, Airbus has raked in a healthy list of orders and commitments. Indigo, Virgin America and Lufthansa are among those having signed up to the product, with several other airlines having already said they are looking at what the NEO has to offer. The uptake has been so strong that Airbus has taken the unusual step of accelerating the in-service date. The NEO is now due to enter operational use in October 2015. The aircraft maker also says it could switch over to an all-NEO production capacity by 2018, although customers will decide whether current standard A320s will still be built. Airbus will re-engine the A320 first, then the A319, and then the A321. It switched the order between the A319 and A321 to optimize engineering resources. Whether the A318 will be re-engined remains an open question. The aircraft has been effectively relegated to the VVIP market. Flight testing is due to start in 2014. A total of eight aircraft are to be involved. For the lead type, the A320, both the Pratt and CFM engines will be flying on two aircraft each. Then, for the A319 and A321, there will be one flight test aircraft for each engine model. Airbus now believes the NEO could extend the A320's production life to effectively double the production run from the more than 7,000 already on order. Not shabby for the single aisle program that was originally launched on a business case of selling around 600 units. To minimize schedule risk, but also to retain as much customer loyalty from existing A320 users as possible, Airbus has opted to minimize, wherever possible, changes from the existing single aisle configuration. The inboard wing will be strengthened, as will the wing box. The NEO will build on work Airbus is doing already to add winglets to the A321. Those are to enter service next year, with flight testing due to begin this year. Airbus has a weight reduction program underway on the A320 to offset the increases needed to strengthen the aircraft to handle higher loads associated with adding the winglets to the A320. One of the big questions for Airbus remains whether it can steal away a long-time Boeing customer with the NEO. Perhaps the Paris Air Show will help answer that question.